Revenge is a kind of wild justice, which the more man's nature runs to, the more ought law to weed it out. For as for the first wrong, it doth but offend the law, but the revenge of that wrong putteth the law out of office. Certainly, in taking revenge, a man is but even with his enemy, but in passing it over, he is superior, for it is a prince's part to pardon. I am revenge, and this is my story. I am revenge, and this is my story. I am revenge, and this is my story. Today, Andre and I will watch as my story unfolds. With Andre's death, my vicious cycle of revenge begins. It's a classic tale, really. A man dies, his love seeks revenge. In a fit of jealousy, someone else dies. Over the girl, and here we go again. That Andre is such an impatient fool. Doesn't he realize these plots take time? As everyone knows, revenge is best served cold. As I told Andre, with time I'll turn their friendship into foul despite. Their love to mortal hate, their day to night. Their hope into despair, their peace to war, their joys to pain, their bliss to misery. This plot is mine, and I shall have revenge. Andre, Andre, Andre. He wants to harvest while the corn is still green. We must wait till the corn is ripe. Yes, yes, Horatio has died and Bellimperia abused. But that is of no matter. It is all part of the plan. In time, good sir, all will be revealed. <sighs> so what if I fell asleep? We all know how this ends. Hieronimo won't rest until Horatio is revenged. With time, I assure you, Andre will be satisfied with the workings of my revenge. Things are getting good now. Bellimperia and Horatio have joined forces to exact their revenge. The deaths of Andre and Horatio will be justified. All we need to do now is sit back and enjoy this not-so-fake play. And there, you have it. My revenge has come to fruition. Now begins their time in the afterlife, where I can play with my puppets as much as I please. For as I say, haste we down to meet thy friends and foes, to place thy friends in ease, the rest in woes. For here, though death hath end their misery, I'll begin their endless tragedy. As one plot ends, another begins. Unfortunately, everybody in this tale has bigger preoccupations. Disguises, lust, betrayal. But wait, there might be someone who will fall under my spell. Let's wait and see. Tommaso has fallen. With the death of Piriquo, he thirsts for the wrong to be righted. Foolish Vermandro won't act quickly enough now that I can whisper in his ear. Shoot! Vermandro suspects those two madmen. If he acts, justice will be executed and my wild justice will not run freely! But Tommaso is still bloodthirsty, and if he discovers that they are not Piriquo's murderers, then I may still have hope. Good, good. Tommaso is getting impatient. Not much longer now. No! Tommaso is satisfied with the death of DeFloris and Beatrice. I had hoped for better results. My time here has been wasted! I'll have to turn my attention elsewhere for the blood I seek from a good revenge plot. 
My puppet Iago has already begun to play in my games. He's heard a rumor that Othello has slept with his wife, and he's acting on it like it's real. This has a lot of promise. Let's see where it goes. After whispering in his ear, Iago pulls others into the fray. Rodrigo wants to play a role, and Brabantio already wants justice with the Moor. I've twisted Iago's mind so much, he, all he thinks of is hate and revenge. Cassio and Othello better watch their backs. There's nothing I love more than old-fashioned revenge. Honest Iago will use Othello's truly honest and unsuspecting nature to bring about his fate. But what is this? A fortunate twist. In taking Desdemona's hand, Cassio has walked himself straight into Iago's web of revenge. This revenge plot just got interesting. Iago seeks wife for wife revenge. Now he desires to knock Othello from power and sleep with Desdemona. Now that's ambition. But if this fails, he still desires to twist Othello's mind with jealous insecurities of Cassio. What will happen next? This is wonderful! Half of Iago's revenge is complete with the disgrace of Cassio. Now all that remains is the end of Othello. Mmm, Iago has done it now. He is betwixt Othello's mind, and Othello has been caught up in my vicious cycle of revenge. The more jealousy has let me into his mind. The game is fully mine now. Othello is certain that Desdemona is cheating on him with Cassio. For this, he will now have his own revenge. Othello is mine. Desdemona shall not be far behind. Iago still plays a role in my dance. He is setting up Cassio and Rodrigo to fail. What a good puppet he is. Tonight's the night. Both Othello and Iago know the end is near. By night's end, my plot will be complete. And all I need are the deaths to seal the deal. And voila! My revenge is complete. Desdemona is dead, as is Othello. He realized the error of his ways, but it was too late. It always is. Amelia, too, got caught up in my web. Iago's death will follow soon. I am satisfied with the trail of blood my manipulation has created. This unchecked justice of revenge is always such fun. But now, on to a new plot to entertain myself. I'll be seeing you around. On Earth, my cycle of revenge spirals on, never ending across time and space. I come in many forms but always with the same intent of destruction. Once people buy in, they find themselves caught up in a web they can never quite untangle. So watch your back, my dears. You never know where I'll strike next.